Good morning. This morning I've been thinking about storms in life. Yesterday, coming back from Gainesboro, ran through a storm. Limbs were down, had to reroute two or three times. The wind was blowing, rain was coming down. The uh, lightning was striking all around us. It was quite a storm. It only lasted maybe 20, 30 minutes, but still, it was one of those storms where you realize you're in the midst of the storm. And uh, you may find yourself in that storm not a physical storm perhaps, but maybe an emotional storm or a, f a relational storm or a financial storm. Just so many different storms in life. The Apostle Paul, as he is uh, journeying to Rome at the end of the book of Acts, uh, they fall into a great storm. And it says, and because we were exceedingly tempest tossed, they were on a ship in the middle of the sea uh, for several days. The next day it says they lightened the ship. On the third day they threw the, the tackle all the steering of the ship overboard with their own hands. And when neither sun nor stars appeared for many days, no small tempest beat on us. All hope that we would be saved was finally given up. You can just imagine Apostle Paul and the sailors and all those on the ship for many days. In fact, it turns out to be about 14 days, two weeks on a ship in the midst of a sea, waves and wind and rain, and just a, a tremendous storm, thinking you're going to die at any moment, you may say, I've been there. You may even say, I'm there right now. All hope is gone. Doesn't look like that there's any hope that I'm going to make it out of this situation. You know, sometimes that's how we feel in our nation. We look at all the unrest and we think, What's, where's the hope going to come from? We're, we're, we're past help. No, see, the Apostle Paul at the end of 14 days, stood up and said, be of good cheer, take some food, be encouraged. God showed us we're all gonna be saved. The ship's gonna be lost, we're gonna run aground and the ship's gonna be lost, but we're gonna all be safe. And that's exactly what happens there at the end of the book and he makes it to Rome. But you know in your life, maybe you just need a word that you're gonna make it. You're gonna make it safely. But that's only through the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, as he is in our lives as we have put our faith and our trust in him no matter the storm he's going to see us through he's going to see us home he's going to see us safely to the other side even though we may be in the midst of the storms right now i think about that storm yesterday i was glad to get out of it i was glad to see the skies break and the sun peek out again in your life through the lord jesus that'll happen as well he brings us through the storms. Dear Father, we thank you for your hope and your help. Lord, we thank you that you do in the midst of storms bring us through. You're with us. You strengthen us. Lord, we lean on you. Lord, we cry out to you in the midst of the storms. And Lord, for uh, this storm of the COVID-19, we pray for and cry out to you even today. Lord, for the unrest in our community, in our, in our nation, we cry out to you today. Lord, we're in the midst of the storms. We don't see the way out. All hope is gone, but Lord, we trust in you. We need you. Lord, we pray that you'll help us. Lord, I pray for the doctors and the nurses that they will not become weary in well-doing. Lord, that you'll help them to continue to serve. Lord, for our policemen, for our firemen, for our EMTs. Lord, I pray for our elected officials. I pray for our schools today. Lord, that you'll be with them as they, uh, the teachers and the students, as they meet. Lord, just for each one. Lord, just give them strength. And Lord, in personal lives today, Lord, give strength in the midst of the storm. We love you, Lord. We trust you. And we say to you, we need you. We need you in our storms to see us through. And Lord, we thank you for the promise of safety on the other side. Lord, we trust in Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you. In the storms of life, God bless you. In the beautiful days of life, God bless you. Have a great day.